And we have a new one from Petrified Fish. See, there's my unboxing. Oh, and it's always upside down. There it is. Olive wood handles, but you can get diamond wood. Or, or, no, 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 hold on. Or you can get, what is the other one? Uh, yeah, desert ironwood, I think. Desert ironwood is the other one. Yeah, desert ironwood. And uh, either satin or, um, or stone wash. And if you look at here, I think, well, wherever it was when the thing was doing it, but it seemed like the stone wash in the desert ironwood was not available anymore, but you could get satin in the ironwood. But I got the olive wood. It's a lockback. It's different, isn't it? Uh, and I don't know exactly how to pronounce this. I'm, I, you know, I've been calling it the scalar, but maybe scalar. Uh, you know, like valor, scalar. I don't know. Uh, but uh, three point four inch blade of one fifty four cm, eighty two ninety nine. You go, ooh, yeah. Uh, seven point six inches overall length. And this and that. So 154 cm ceramic bearings, which is interesting on a lockback. But I'll tell you, I mean, let me get up here. Yeah, it drops. So you can actually one hand this. I mean, I'm just trying to protect myself because, you know, you don't want it. That blade falling down on your fingers. But. <laughs> oh, she swung back. Yeah, so. Yes, this thing does uh, swing away. And uh, so, lock back. But you got a deep carry pocket clip. Eh, right hand only. Contoured wooden scales. Uh, d different kind of deal going on with this. I'm not sure they really gave any information on if there was a collaborative designer. I don't see anything on that. This is kind of interesting, these blades where they kind of go like that. Um, it's changing the angle of attack. And I've heard, you know, where they go, well, that's actually a better concept because it's more ergonomic to cut like that, etc. Okay. Or maybe you're actually, your, your angle uh, of cutting is more ergonomic, etc. Or whatever. But, so it is a different look. It's a different looking kind of blade. Um, but it works, doesn't it? And it uh, obviously, uh, even now, has got prints on it because I've got the satin. Yeah, not the stone wash. Maybe note to self, start getting stone wash more often. Uh, pocket clip is okay. It's okay. Uh, it's not terribly heavy. It's not a real big knife, but it's not real small. And it does have a real good feel. If you can hear this, hold on. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good feeling lockback. It feels good when it functions. It feels like, I mean, it's not cheapy. It doesn't feel like it's hanging up and doing weird things. It feels solid. It feels positive. So that's good. And it's centered and it she ain't playing. No. It's solid. Um 154 CM what what it's the PFE 12. Okay. The 12 er Um and comes in these boxes that they're doing now, which is a little different than what they have done traditionally, but this is kind of their new thing, right? Olive wood, blah, blah, blah. And here's your, you know, tucking this part in. And sometimes I'll just kind of cut a little bit of a notch here and here, and then this all, you know, tuck in to the box. And so, yeah, I mean, I think I will actually just cut a little, a little bit of a, of a notch off, you know what I'm saying? Just to give it a little bit more ease into the box and uh, without doing this too raggedly. 
but you know, then, then it'll slide in and be like a, just a normal flap, etc. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, uh, it's got a, yeah, a zipper pouch. So remember, you just get them in the box, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you get a little extra hardware with it or whatever, but you never got a zipper pouch. These are kind of nice looking and kind of, kind of, kind of. And then you get microfiber cloth, which here and there you might get in the past. And then you're getting extra hardware, which is all right. Okay. I mean, it's 82 bucks, but you know, they don't, a lot of knives in that range don't give you extra hardware. And then here's your sticker and here's the plastic and your desiccant and all the stuff, right? And a little, you know, little band to hold the knife together. So, I mean, all in all, it seems like a nice little bit of stuff that you get that makes sense, especially the hardware. Microfiber cloths, man, I could make a pile of them uh, with the microfiber cloths that I have never used, but, uh, you know, some guys do. And uh, so, okay, there's the point there. Uh, but, yeah, it's a, it's a good little pouch, kind of interesting, the little zipper pull. I mean, they gave that some consideration and everything. But, yeah, I mean, it's sharp. Uh, you want wooden scales where well, you don't have a choice. Uh, you got to either get the uh, desert ironwood or the olive because there's no G10 or micarta option. Um, this is going to be for those that like a nice lockback knife and, and at least you got a pocket clip. And, uh, you know, it's going to have some heft to it because of this, you know. So, okay, uh, 122 grams, it's not bad. I mean, that's not that heavy overall. It just depends on what size knife you're talking about. But 4.3, okay, yeah, a lot of eight inch knives are probably somewhere in that area, um, that kind of thing. And so, yeah, you got some weight here with all this and all the steel for the backlog and everything. But it, uh, it looks okay. And it looks like they did skeletonize these liners. Okay. I'm not sure how interested I am in actually taking it apart. But they do have uh, bearings in there. So I might agree to just pop off one side and take a look at that rather than actually relieve the spring and pull the blade and do all that gobbledygook but uh maybe just to check out the ceramic bearings ceramic bearings in all my lockback knives or i shall have them not <laughs> i mean whatever but you know what oh baby she swings down and i'll tell you i'll tell you don't be cavalier about that. I did that. Um, I was just being stupid with a cold steel triad lock. Ooh, baby, she swung around and just nailed me. Oh, man. So I've been very, very careful since. Very careful. But, you know, this seems like they're doing a good job with their fit and finish on these. Um, oh, yeah, and maybe one of these days I'll agree to actually put the tape to it. But what do they say? 3.4 inch blade? Okay, I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, and what is that in in uh, American terms? <laughs> and it's like, but well, that's 3.4 in American, but I mean in 90 millimeter. Okay. Somewhere in that area. Mm, seven points, okay, 7.6 at, uh, you know, 19.2. Uh, centimeters. So, okay. I mean, it's not tiny. And it's not ultra lightweight. And I think the finish on the scales looks nice. Uh, there's no jimping or anything up here. It's got thumb studs. Uh, it's definitely easy to open. You know, that just kicks right open. It's a real positive feel here. 
So, I mean, I don't know what more I can really tell you about it other than, you know, I mean, it's sharp out of the box. It's 154 CM. Oh, what one thing. One, 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 one thing. Hold on. Take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah, you got a recurve in here, don't you? See right there where we can see through the bottom there, right in that middle? Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So you got that. Now, for pull cuts and things like that, it does make things easier. Uh, you do have a little bit of give here where you can get up if you wanted to, but uh, I don't know that you need to. I kind of wonder why they didn't kind of plop a choil in here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the plunge looks uh, symmetrical. You know, I, I like their knives. I like the 949 Warrior. I like the Beluga. I mean, there's just, the Flavorist is good. I mean, there's just so many. And I got a drawer full of them. And hell, you can't, you, you know, I mean, most of them I paid, what, 40-something bucks for. So make a nice gift. Not, not worth selling unless you got about 30 of them, you know? I mean, you know, it's not a, they ain't $250 each, so. Really, it's just like use them, collect them, have fun. What the hell? And I do. I mean, I keep mine just like I keep a lot of Tucson knives and uh, that kind of thing. I, it's just uh, Petrified Fish is another one I, I keep a lot of. And I'm starting to do that with Vostead knives, too. So I think those are three brands that are pretty damn interesting to have around, as far as I'm concerned. Lanyard Hole here. Um... Hardware, okay. I mean, nothing to write home about, but then, okay, it's about par for the course for a lot of knife uh, companies that are putting stuff out there. So, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking this will probably not make my top five or even top ten petrified fish uh, designs, but I just wanted to see, you know, I almost get every everything uh, that they put out, at least for look-see, you know. Uh, but uh, I wanted to see how this felt in hand. And I'm kind of surprised. I, I, it's a big uh, upside to this is how smooth it is uh, in operation as a lockback. You know, because I've had some lockbacks that were pretty rough and felt kind of crappy and this and that. But this one, no. This one, no, 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 no. This feels good, solid. Actually, it feels quality. Now let's see if we can do something to completely disrupt and screw up a good thing. You know, I mean, don't leave well enough alone. I mean, most guys don't. They get a knife, they rip it apart. Doesn't matter if it's perfect, right? You know, rip it apart anyhow. Then we have nine. Hell no, we got number. We don't have number eight, do we? No, we don't. Okay, number six. <sighs> okay, are we doing it? Are we doing it? Okay, here's here's one body screw. And here's another one. And I just wanted to, uh, am I going to turn the other side too? She, come on, really? Are you going to do this to me? Yeah, you are. You're going to make me do this, aren't you? Okay. Um, is this a five or a six? This is a six. Okay, give me, give me a break here, boys. Give me a break. Okay, he did. Okay. Yep, here. You coming? You coming out? Come on. I think you've been coaxed enough. Okay, well. Regardless, I guess you're going to let go. Um, Let me see here as well. Pocket clip. Are you guys going to let go? Anybody going to let go? Okay, you guys are... Look like the same size because they're just going into the liner. They're not going into a standoff or anything. And this little dog, she does not want to. Woo! Whew. He took you some convincing. Okay. There's that and there's that and they look the same. Okay. So, we got wood. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it like that. Okay. So, um, what's this? Um... Yikes. So.
Bup, 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 bup. So, yeah, steel liners, I'm sure of sureness. That that's what that is. Okay. That's all you're going to get. That's it. That's all you're going to get. Because um, I don't want to toggle the lever any more than I have to. You have to do that, and then you can pull the blade off and blah, 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 and then you got to put it back in and deal with it. Okay, but I just want to see the ceramic bearings, and yeah, and then you got a flattened pivot thing, so obviously, since there's no, yeah, so it's captured, and I just dumped my, uh, my bearings out, but there you be. What do you think? Pretty easy little mechanism there. Um, skeletonized on both liners, etc., etc., but relatively simple. That's your teardown. Okay. Uh, yeah. That uh, definitely got uh, ceramic bearings, and you can definitely tell when you drop that blade. Although, well, I think bronze could have been, you know, washers could have been just fine as well. But, okay. I mean, it is what it is. It's not like it's difficult to take apart, okay? Um, so, and clean or maintain, etc. Petrified fish, they just keep on rocking, don't they? I mean, go to their website. I'll give you the link. But uh, also, they sell it on White Mountain. So, if you can find this there and uh, discount code uh, below uh, for one or the other or both. And, uh, you know, check it out. Uh, but they just parouse all the models they've come out with through the last several years. It's just amazing. It is. And speaking of websites, love them knives. Pre-owned knives. Yeah. Bunches. New ones coming in. New ones coming in every week. So go back often and take a look. Scour through. There's some interesting knives in there. Because we do. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.